Hi there, it's Tim from Second State. Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to deploy an ERC20 contract onto the Oasis um, mainnet beta. And we're going to be using uh, some Second State infrastructure, which is this build tool where we can uh, compile and deploy contracts. The contracts will be deployed to the Oasis mainnet beta, uh, where we have a faucet over here to grab some free uh, tokens to do all of this work. Now this is uh, one of the objectives of the Oasis Hackathon. So I'm just doing a very informal video just to show you, just give a bit of a head start and some bit of information about how to pull all these tools together and um, create this. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we have the build tool. This is a great tool built by Second State where you can paste in the uh, Solidity smart contract code and you can click compile and you can deploy this. Now, a couple of things. So we have a contract name down here. So I will make this say uh, Tim 10 token and we'll call, so the token name, which is actually deployed is Tim 10 and then the symbol for this, we'll make it Tim 10. Okay, now the way this particular contract that's referenced in the uh, Oasis Hackathon is that it has a constructor that's explicit here. So we, we need to make sure that this Tim 10 contract name is the same as the constructor's name. If those two aren't the same, then the constructor won't fire. And obviously um, you can also write your Solidity code to just say the word constructor as opposed to explicitly um, having the same contract name and constructor name. but uh, that's okay, so that'll all work. Now, just a bit of a background on this build tool. The section down here, if you're clicking on the links through from the instructions from Second State and Oasis to um, you know, participate in this hackathon, you'll, you'll see that all this is already filled out. So this build tool is already connected to the Oasis mainnet beta, um, the chain ID is 69, and that's the RPC URL. And we've also got some custom gas and stuff put in there for you already. Uh, the section that's fairly important is this accounts section. So when you open the build tool, it'll always generate for you like five accounts um, automatically. And you can just go ahead and use those accounts. But because we're going to be actually uh, heading over to um, using like a MetaMask wallet and also the Uniswap exchange that's been deployed on the Oasis mainnet beta. So what we want to do is actually generate a fresh account. So if you go and open up MetaMask and you go create account and then you give that an account name. Just leave that as account eight. When you create that, you can then go into account details here and there's a section that says export private key. So when you put your password in there, um, it'll actually show you your private key. And what you can do then is, of course, never share that with anyone, but we're only on a, on a beta mainnet here. So that's okay for now. We're gonna just get our tokens for free from this faucet. But um, when you take the private key, you bring it over here to the build tool and you use the build tools import function. So we've clicked on accounts here. Excuse me, just log myself out then. Um, we click on the uh, accounts section here and then we click import and just simply paste in the private key. However, one thing to remember, make sure that you just prefix it with zero X as stated here, otherwise that won't work. Okay, so I've already done that. And so once you've gone ahead and done that, you'll have that new account here as the default account and you fill out your contract name, what you want the you know, the name of your contract to be and what you want the symbol to be and advise leaving the decimals at 18 because that's the standard and your initial supply, obviously if you strip off 18 uh, decimals from here, then that leaves you with your actual token supply. All right, so let's go ahead and compile that. And this build tool creates for us an ABI and also the bytecode, but we don't actually need to do anything with that. All we need to do is come up here to this drop down. This is very important. There's a lot of inheritance in this contract. So the actual Tim 10 token has a combination of all these things um, here that it inherits from. But what we wanna do is make sure we select that one before we hit deploy. And then when we click deploy, so we make sure we're on the right um, account. So let's go to this one I've created earlier, this Tim account. And I've already gone to the faucet 
over here. So of course you would come here, um, click I'm not a robot, put your account address in and get your one uh, free uh, OETH. And then once you've done that, obviously your wallet will have some uh, funds in it and then you can go ahead and deploy this to the OASIS mainnet beta. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now as my Tim user. Okay, and what that's done is it's created for us a address on the blockchain where the ERC20 contract has been deployed. So that's fantastic. All right, so now let's head over to the Uniswap exchange. All right, so the first thing we need to do, because this token is brand new to the blockchain network, we need to go into the pool tab and we need to actually create an exchange because we've got a new token. We've been issued with, um, with some tokens that are now in our wallet and we first have to create an exchange and then we or anybody else can add liquidity to that all you need is a set of network tokens and some of these tokens and then you can create liquidity so let's first things first let's pop into the metamask wallet go to the assets scroll down and click add token now we click on custom tokens and we paste in this and it'll actually go ahead because this um, is connected to the oasis uh, mainnet beta it'll detect that there's the token symbol of Tim 10 and it's got 18 decimal places and so forth And when I click next You'll see that they're already in there. So we click add tokens and now this wallet is aware of uh, Everything there and how to set up your metamask wallet uh, You have a, a bunch of different networks that you can select from here you go to uh, settings And you scroll right down to networks and then you can actually um, create networks in here and you can just paste in the um, RPC URL. So you can actually steal that up from over here on the build tool in the provider section. If you just take this uh, URL here, you can go over to MetaMask and actually create a new uh, network and then just paste that in and, and click accept. And then you're basically on the Oasis network. All right, so over to the Uniswap exchange. Now we have the token, the Tim10 token in our wallet, so that's great. And we're going to create an exchange. All right, so we put the token address in of the Tim10 token and also Uniswap, you can see, has detected it. So we click create exchange. This comes up with uh, confirmation to get that done. And that shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds. Uh, okay, so now the next step is to add some liquidity to that pool. So the token here is a network token. So we'll not do something like 0 0.05 because we only have one of these tokens. So we'll go select a token, select the Tim 10. And this is saying that you're the first person to add liquidity. So what we need to do is make sure that in the real world that this uh, deposit here has an equal um, value to the uh, tokens that we're going to also put in here. So first of all, we go ahead and unlock that in Uniswap, and that's just basically giving Uniswap permission to um, spend. Okay, that also should only just take a couple of seconds to go ahead. If that unlock doesn't disappear, um, if you find that the unlock mechanism is um, is sticking or delaying, then just after a little while, just feel free to refresh um, your page. Now you can actually keep an eye on the uh, transactions that are going on in here, because if you go to activity, you'll see that on this account. So we've created an exchange and then we've approved. So you'll see in here whether it's pending or failed or what have you, but so that's gone ahead. So if you don't see that um, this user interface, um, match the wallet software then just feel free to hit refresh or something like that okay so let's go ahead and put in some initial liquidity so we'll put 0 0.05 and maybe a hundred of these tokens here and that gives us the ratios we click add liquidity as the first liquidity providers we'll click ok and then again we wait a couple of seconds for that okay that's gone ahead and so now we have uh, 100 
percent of this pool share because obviously we're the first person to put any liquidity into the pool and now we can go ahead over here and we can swap um, so we'll take uh, perhaps this network token here we'll put 0 0.05 again and we can actually swap so now you'll see that the um, the swap ratio here is set because we've added that initial liquidity so now we actually have um, a value here the transaction details will show you all about that okay so that's basically it once you've done that you can go ahead and start swapping um, tokens you can also if you want to just send tokens to different accounts um, you can do that if you want to send a token so you'll scroll down here to the tim 10 and maybe i want to put in an address of another user that i'm working with or something like this and we want to um, play with another account and we can actually go ahead and transfer tokens from my account to their account and then they can come back and trade them in Uniswap and things like that. So very flexible. Um, I think that's about all to show you for today. So hopefully that gets you across the line with the hackathon, create and deploy an ERC20 tokens on the Oasis mainnet beta. Thanks for watching.